Hey everybody, welcome to our fake away cook along. Um, so today we're gonna to be doing a chicken ramen. So this is something that you'll find in a lot of um, Asian takeaways or Asian style restaurants. Um, and we're gonna do one that is a fraction of the cost. Um, so for this, you're gonna need um, these ingredients. These ingredients serve five to six, but you can absolutely tailor it to serve one or two, um, however big your family is. So for this, you're gonna need 300 grams of bean sprouts, um, 300 grams of noodles. So I've chosen whole wheat noodles just because they're packed with a lot more fiber. I've got 50 grams of spring onion, just roughly chopped. One lime, a little bit of oil. I've got 600 grams of chicken breast, which I've just roughly diced. Um, again, I've got 75 grams of some chili, which I've de-seeded and roughly chopped. Five teaspoons of ginger paste, five garlic cloves, one large and um, finely sliced onion, five teaspoons of miso paste, which can normally be found in sort of the oriental section of the supermarket, um, chicken stock cubes, I've got three of these, some chili flakes and a good pinch of coriander. You will also need about two litres of water as well. You're gonna need a non-stick pan for your chicken and you're gonna need a saucepan um, for your broth. It's really helpful if you have a food processor or a small blender um, just to make the broth. Um, so let's get going. So first up, we need to sear the chicken. Um, so we're just gonna coat it into a little bit of oil with some chili flakes, um, just to give it a bit of flavor. So you're just gonna add a little bit of oil and then some chili flakes. Make sure your pan is quite hot. Just give it a bit of a mixture. I'll use your hands or a spoon, absolutely fine. Make sure that you've got a good coating of chili flakes and oil. And then we're gonna just put it in the pan to sear for about five minutes. Making sure it's cooked all the way through. So while you're chicken and searing, we can actually get our broth ready. So to do this, it's really useful to have a food processor because we can blitz it all together. So what we need is our miso paste, our chilies and our garlic. Um, you're also gonna need about two liters of water, but just be careful if you do have a food processor, there's normally a liquid limit. So I'm just gonna do it gradually. Um, so I'm just gonna add in my miso. garlic cloves and chili. I'm just going to save a little bit for the top and I'm just going to add in some mid just for the maximum level and then go from there and then just blitz it together. Once you've blitzed your broth ingredients, this is kind of what it should look like. Um, so there will still be bits of um, garlic and chili and everything in there um, and a nice orange color. So after we've cooked the chicken, the next step is actually to add our dry ingredients. Now this is a really good dish because we can make these two ahead and do this anytime. So you could make this on a Sunday um, and just cook the dry ingredients how many portions you need say on a monday lunchtime or a monday evening and it saves an awful lot of time so we are going to do just that we're going to do a few portions um, of our dry ingredients so you need a nice pan we're going to add in half of our dry ingredients so we've got the noodles the spring onions some finely sliced onion, our ginger and then our stock and a little bit of coriander and then all we do is add in our broth so I've got half the broth here that you need um, so we just pour that in and make sure everything's well covered You might need to add a little bit of extra water if everything's not covered in your pan, depending on the size of your pan, but that's absolutely fine. And we're just gonna give it a bit of a stir. Make sure everything's well covered. 
and then you just put that on a medium to high heat with the lid on and cook for about five to eight minutes and then it's ready to dish up. So our broth and our noodles and dry ingredients have had about five to 10 minutes. Um, like I said, you can get the broth ready the night before, the chicken ready the night before, and then literally dinner or lunch will take you five minutes. Um, so it's a really easy dish. So we're gonna serve this up ready to go. Um, so we're just gonna have some of our noodles and our broth. And then with this, we're just gonna serve some of our chicken breast. So our chili chicken that we made earlier. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of onion for the top. Some spring onion. And we're just gonna add a wedge of lime um, with it. And a little bit of extra coriander. And there we have it. Here is our chicken ramen takeaway. Um, a much cheaper alternative than what you'd get in your local takeaway or restaurant. Um, really easy to make ahead. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cook along and good luck cooking.